Awesome, Joe. Thank you so much for being here, man. Um, and I'm super delighted and excited to have you today. And um, thanks for being here to inspire everybody and to be um, part of my journey and part of so many people's journey to to uh, inspire them. Man, when I actually reached out to you, Joe, and I saw your profile and the transformation that you had, I was so damn curious to know more. So please, please go ahead and tell us a bit about your uh, transformation. Oh, thank you for having me first. Uh, I, I appreciate you even having me on. Uh, of course. Transformation, it wasn't like an overnight thing. Uh, I, I used to weigh 300 and over th the highest I weighed myself was 352 pounds. Um, wow. I was like depressed all the time and hated life and, you know, just sluggish. And I decided to uh, hike the Pacific Crest Trail. It's a trail that goes from Mexico to Canada and it's like uh -huh. 2,600 miles. Um, and I was, like I said, I was 350 at the time. So I started hiking and eating less wow. sugars and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So I, I I knocked it down about 30, 30 pounds, uh, failed the trail miserably. <laughs> I only made it like 40, 50 miles, something like that. Right. Um, and I stayed, I stayed heavy for a while. And then uh, 2021, I started doing these Purium shakes. There's these green, they're the green superfood shakes. Um and I, I went down another probably 60 pounds uh, on the shakes. And then I got off them, started eating fast food again and horrible stuff. And uh, hmm. when I got back into, uh, I moved back to my hometown. And then in April of this year, I started April 8th. I started eating only fruits. I stopped eating meat, stopped eating all the processed stuff. It literally just went 100% raw fruit. Beautiful. And um, I went from, so... I was probably about 250 when I, when I started and now I'm 160. So I lost, right. yeah, I lost the rest that's, of the weight. Yeah. That's insane, man. And man, like you look a lot better, bro. You look oh. so much more better, younger, yeah. fresh, alive and full of life. Yeah. I, I, uh, my birthday was the other day and, uh, yeah. So it was like, how's Happy it feel birthday. to be? A <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I think it's just age ritual now, but, uh, so it was like, how do you feel being a year older? I was like, I feel 20 years younger. Like, there you go. Like, awesome. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. So help me, uh, remind me again with the dates. Um, so April 8th of this year is when you started to go all raw. Oh, yep. Gotcha. Yep. I, and... I, I don't even eat vegetables. Uh huh. All literally fruit, just right? fruit, only fruit. Yeah. Yeah, yep. absolutely. And, and I, I believe you don't even have the desire, I believe to even, try raw vegetables no right no yeah. I, I read a book called the secret life of plants and they tell you mm. how plants are telepathic and like they give off like certain toxins that they so there's parts of plants they don't want you to eat so mm. they give off toxins and stuff like that so i yeah i'm yeah. not eating plants why am i gonna if i'm not gonna kill an animal why am i gonna kill a plant yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> what's your thought process what's your thought process with fruit do you feel like it's killing anything no, uh, so they make the fruit so you'll eat them and then eat yeah. the seeds that are in the fruit and then you poop them out and then you'll grow another plant that will grow more fruit. The problem is we have toilets, so the plant's not really getting what it wants. But mm. I think fruits are made for us to eat because the that's the plant's reproduction. We eat the fruit, yeah. poop the seeds out into the ground and then it fertilizes another plant. But like I said, I, I don't think it uh, works out because we have you know, toilets and plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, it goes to through all the unnecessary stuff. Right. So interesting. So you were 350 originally and then you shed down to 250 without being raw, right? Uh yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was it was okay. literally just hiking more, less okay. sugars. Um yeah. and like well the the superfood shakes, they are it it was it was a raw like it's superfoods. It has like all the, I couldn't even tell you what was ginger root and all that other stuff, but, um, it wasn't, um, I was still eating. So I had that for breakfast and dinner. And then for lunch, I'd have like chicken and, you know, like meat. So mm. it wasn't raw. The, the shakes were raw, but I was still eating like crap for lunch. So. Right. 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 Yeah. Cool. Cool. And, and I'm sure like 
just moving from 250 to 150 on raw was a totally different experience from as compared to moving from 350 to 250 right oh yeah absolutely uh it felt like it was easier definitely people like how you can eat fruit you don't get sick of it do you know how many delicious fruits there are out there like absolutely there's a ton you don't even need to it's it's crazy like if someone would told me dates existed before i before i yeah if if i knew dates existed then i wouldn't have been so big (laughs) i think they're delicious they're they're right yeah so you you say you're telling me you did not know dates before this transformation that you made. never had a date in my life. Wow, that's crazy, man. Yeah, and you know where I'm calling you from? I'm currently in Saudi Arabia, and this is the okay, yeah. second. Uh, this is the second, or yeah, second largest producer, or the first. I think the first is Egypt, but second, I believe, is Saudi Arabia. And man, we have all sorts of dates, bro. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so <laughs> amazing. Yeah, your fruit, your food is probably way cleaner over there too. I think so. I believe so. I don't know what to compare it with. Um, I was in Mexico before this, like three months ago, and then Colombia. Over there, it was very organic and very nice and fresh as well. But over yeah. here, it's not too bad too, man. Like it comes directly from the farmers. Um, the heat is good enough for us to grow. And currently, there's a season for cantaloupes, man. I wish I okay. could just invite you to have this is the most magnificent cantaloupes i've had in really? my entire life yes i've never Absolutely. really cared for cantaloupes in america anyway <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know I, I eat one watermelon a day though uh-huh so, yeah 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 that's beautiful what, what i'm curious what does your diet look like now man um like i said i have one watermelon a day um i eat bananas strawberries uh, the only thing I don't eat that's not like an actual, you can call it, a, I, it's it's a droop, but I, I'll eat cashews, uh, mm. raw cashews, but um, technically they're a fruit. So that's, you know, but yeah. So you cashews, watermelon, bananas, strawberries. That's the right. main ones I stick to because I live in upstate New York and it's really hard to go somewhere and find organic fruit. So you really can only mm. go to the grocery store. And then I don't trust anything about a grocery store anymore. So like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty difficult. There's like a farmer's market that I went to every Sunday and I'm like walking around and it's just, they all have non-organic fruit there still. It's a mm. farmer's market. You'd think that it'd be like organic fruits and stuff like that. It's so hard to find them these days though. Yeah. They're wiping them out. Yeah, absolutely, man. And uh, I think it's, um, yeah, it's 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 time that we start to realize, like, we need to bring more organic stuff into our supermarkets and places where we buy. But also, man, like, if you look at it, there's not a lot of good quality food on the other side of the spectrum, too. Like, it's yeah. not like you get organic chicken these days for people who are skeptical about fruit and like, no, it's not organic. Like, it's not like you're getting organic stuff on the other end, too, right? Yeah. For real, so, like chicken is all is starting to be made in a lab. So if you go, <laughs> if you go in, if you go to the grocery store and your chicken says harvested in, then it's it's lab made meat. It's not a real, it's not from a real chicken. Yeah. So if it says harvested yeah. in, yeah, we'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I couldn't even same... tell you what's in that. Yeah, absolutely, man. And I wouldn't be surprised. And I think I was just doing it for the taste, you know. Like I was eating eggs like i used to eat a lot of eggs you know in my previous yeah. life um the non-fruitarian life and yeah. uh, man they they don't even taste like the, the i was in colombia and uh, the farmer there was this guy who knew the land very well in colombia and he was just telling people that how fake these eggs are these days and the guy knows stuff around the area right so he was like this is quite fake so yeah there's a lot of fake food out there <laughs> it's crazy yo so yeah. uh like i was saying your uh food's probably cleaner there uh if you look at ingredients for any foods in america and then look at the ingredients from another country there's way less ingredients in the other country and there's way mm. more words you can't even pronounce in the american ingredients so they're mm. like yeah dude i want to move <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> so bad <laughs> Right. Where, where do you think you would move if you were to? Um, I'd like to go to Bora Bora, but that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> it's not realistic. Right. No, uh, right. I don't even know, to be honest. Uh, 
I, I'd probably do research and find places that have the most organic fruit and stuff like that. So I can stay cleaner, easier. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. But I, right. I, I've also, uh, I also started fasting and stuff like that. Um, okay. I do a lot of water fasts. I've done a few dry fasts too, where you don't eat food or water. Yeah. Drink water. Um, but yeah. So right, I do right. intermittent fasting every day. I only eat between 12 and six or 11 and five. So, uh-huh. I see. And, and what are your thoughts on fasting? Like why fasting? Why do you feel it's appropriate or you feel like doing it for yourself? Um, so your body, once you stop eating, your body goes through autophagy and it starts eating up all your your fats and your bad toxins and the bad stuff in your body. Yeah. Um, and you can actually see this uh, after about like day six or seven, you actually, when you go to the bathroom, you poop out all this mucus and, and stuff like that. And uh, mm. on day three, your body goes through a growth hormone, like a 500%. Mm. And I guess like if you, if you pay for a growth hormone at, at the, if you go to a hospital and you pay for a growth hormone, it's like $500 for like, one or two percent and this gives off like a 500 percent growth hormone so it's like wow. taking steroids but not taking anything so you can actually if you work out a lot you can actually get gains and stuff like that so um i don't know and it's 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 actually pretty easy now w once you go on all fruit and you clean your body out of all the bad stuff in your body yeah. fasting is much easier because you're not craving all this horrible stuff and fruits natural so yeah. Uh, fasting becomes very easy when you're, when you're all through. So I, I absolutely agree with you. It's like you are more in touch with your natural self, more in tune with yep. yourself, right? Because for the very yep. first time, you're also giving yourself things like giving your body things that are more natural. So yep. automatically your thought process even starts to think more naturally and you yep. become more in tune. And when you become more in tune, your body actually speaks to you in some very beautiful ways, isn't it? Yes, it does. I actually, I started going all fruit. I started meditating. Like I meditate three times a day for about a half hour. And yeah. I want to do it longer. Um, I need to start doing it longer, but yeah, like in you be, you, yeah, you learn about yourself way more. That's, that's for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, man. All right. Just so tell us, man, tell us more like, Exactly. First of all, man, why? Like, why not stay at 350? What made you, what What was that switch where you were um, like? I got, so I started hiking this trail behind my house. Uh, I was doing six, six miles a day every morning. Um, and I ended up getting a dog. And when I, while I was, while we were walking every day, um, I just started looking at trees and like noticing nature more and like, started reading a book called life after life where they talk about near-death experiences that really doesn't have anything to do with it but it, it made me appreciate everything around me you know what i mean mm. um and it just i started wanting to live mm. <laughs> you know i didn't right. do it to i didn't do it to for looks at all not, not mm. one part of me well it was for looks it was literally because i didn't want to die and i knew i was killing myself for food so wow. Um, it was like an addiction. It really was. I was addicted mm. to consumption and, um, yeah, it, it was really cause I wanted to live, to be honest with you. Mm. Uh, I had nothing really to do with, uh, attraction or women or anything like that. So, right. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Wanted to continue and, to live. <laughs> right. Right. That's, that's wow. Like getting close to that point. Right. Um, it's, it's incredible. So, yeah. And then you made the change. And how did you stumble upon fruit while your uh, transformation? Like I said, uh, so I, I wanted to, I wanted to eat cleaner and eat better and all that. And I, yeah. I didn't want to, I didn't want to eat plants because yeah. I did research on plants. Um, mm. I didn't want to eat meat anymore because that's a rabbit hole. Everybody needs to go down because once Why? you do research on, on meat and, and what you're doing to animals and what you're consuming while they're so when you're killing, when they kill a cow, that cow is under tons of stress, like yeah. tons of stress. And then you're eating that meat that it was, you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, you're, you're eating, eating stress, stress meat. Yeah. 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 You're, you're, you're taking on the, the, the dead energy from the cow mm. into you. And it's just, it's not good. Um, plus like think of a teacup pig and think of a, a puppy. 
if somebody was beating up a puppy in an alley, you'd go whoop that dude's butt. You know what I mean? Same thing. Yeah. If he's beating up a teacup pig, what's your what's the difference in your reaction? It shouldn't be mm. any different. You know what I mean? So it's just no animal wants to get killed. And I used to be a big, you know, you know, eat eat all the meat you want. Kill who cares about mm. killing a cow? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I used to be like that big time, and now I'm just it doesn't make any sense. I want to be on a higher frequency with animals. So mm. you know. I, I'll never eat animals again. The the last thing I ever ate that I that was bad before I started all fruit, I was eating I like uh, mozzarella sticks and chocolate mm. milk from this place called Burn Dairy. And uh, I remember driving up the road and being like, "This is the last crap I'm ever going to eat." And so mm. it's April eighth. It was the last crap I've ever eaten. So awesome, awesome, man. That's beautiful. And and man, so you have you you understood that, right? I understood that. But what do you think? keeps people from not understanding this like meat's bad for you um they're comfortable mm. uh it's it's all about comfort yeah. i think uh nobody wants to know anything outside yeah. of their bubble like i said i i do a um a podcast on conspiracies and we go through we go through a bunch of different stuff mm. and um the biggest pushback is why do I care? It's not going to change my life. I get right. that response all the time. And the main thing I can say is look at me. Like I'm completely different. Just, just, yeah. just doing research on stuff. And people, I think people are afraid to change their lives. So I, I used to be obsessed with sports, obsessed with TV and movies. I don't watch none of that anymore. Um, I literally focus on myself, hang out with yeah. my puppy and I, I, I want to be the highest version of myself that I could possibly be. So when people say it won't change their lives, I'm walking proof. So I, I kind of laugh at that Absolutely. response because it makes no sense. Like, what do you mean yeah. it won't change your life? It completely changed mine. I think people just don't want to change their lives, you know? I don't want to I, change their lives, yeah. yeah. I st- what's the matter? I still got to get up and go to work tomorrow. Like, mm. right. yeah, but you can actually love your life. I love my life now. Yeah, I used to hate, I used to wake up every day. I hate my life. Now I I love my life. I can honestly say I love my life with no. It's not a lie. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not yeah. like trying to, um, make myself believe it. Like I actually love my life, which is absolutely. great. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. And man, like this is the thing that can actually happen if people were to make a change right because right now people actually like if you look at it people are addicted to food yeah. right so they actually love food but maybe they just don't understand that when you actually start to make a transformation like yourself man like the the beautiful way that you did and start to love your life instead of just a 5 minute pleasure 10 minute pleasure of food yeah it's a thousand fold higher right absolutely it really is Uh, a friend of mine actually was just saying the other day that she when she sits at her desk at work she's she has the only thing she has to look forward to is you know that the candy bar in her desk or like the the you know what i mean like she's like oh i still gotta be here oh but i have this candy bar in in an hour when i want it or like i have lunch coming up like people are everything is revolving around food when people ask me what's the hardest part about being fruitarian the social aspect, because yes. no matter what you do, everybody wants to go eat. They want to go drink like and when you're sitting at a restaurant with someone, I'm not I'm never uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, why are you uncomfortable? Because I'm not eating. I really just wanted to hang out with you and talk to you like and it sucks because no restaurants sell fruit. You <laughs> yeah. get a side of fruit at like a diner, but like they don't sell fruit. So it's yeah. I can get a salad and pretend to pick at it, but I'm not going to eat it. So, mm. yeah. Why not a salad once or twice? Um, I don't know, man. I just haven't done it, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. It's really that book, man. This, this, this dude goes through how, uh, like he had an experiment with these plants. Like he hooked them up to a lie detector test and based their, their right. uh, responses off of a human's response. So he, um, he went into the room. He's like, all right, I'm going to go in the room and I'm going to put this, 
transplants leaf in hot coffee and see if there's a reaction on the lie detector test. So he goes and does it. There's no reaction. He's like, all right, I'm going to go in and burn a leaf off. So he goes mm -hmm. in the room, burns the leaf off, comes in, checks results. And the plant lit up when he walked in the room, not when he burned the leaf. Wow. So he's like, that, that's, that's odd. Funny. That's odd. Right. So he's like, all right, yeah. I'm going to go in. I'm not going to burn the leaf, but I'm going to pretend to burn the leaf. So he goes in, pretends to burn the leaf. Nothing, nothing on the, on the test at all. So like the plant wow. knew when he walked in the room, he was going to burn the leaf. So like plants are wow. telepathic. He also did another thing where he had, uh, he set two plants in a room, had, had college kids walk in the room, walk out of the room. And he had one of them destroy one of the plants and then walk mm. out of the room. So he, he did this hook. And then he hooked the other plant that was still, you know, not destroyed up to yeah. the lie detector test, had the kids walk in the room again. When that kid walked in the room, the plant lit up. No, like that's, way. that's the killer right there. No so, way. Yeah, dude. Plants are crazy. Oh, they're it's it's crazy. Wow. Secret life of plants. It's Secret a Secret Life book. of Plants. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a it's I'll, a really I'll, good book. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, I'll it's hard, man. I I I'll eat vegetables if it's it's if it's the fruit from the plant. So if it's cucumber, mm. tomato, pepper, you know, olive. So it's just tomatoes also if yeah yeah, yeah tomatoes but also I, fruit. did i say tomato no you did not or maybe you did i don't know if i said potato don't eat a potato it's you're killing no. <laughs> 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 right plus right, if right. you need it if you heat up a potato past like 120 degrees it uh produces acrylamide which is cancer causing so don't eat french uh -huh. fries so don't something eat french fries <laughs> right right something i didn't know um something i didn't know because i'm still once a week or one or twice a week a meal i'm indulging in like just vegetables um okay. so something yeah this is very interesting for me man and honestly i don't want to do this i just do it because i'm staying with the family and this is like the closest i can come to their cuisine because fruit yeah. is completely off right so like Friday afternoon. Really is. Yeah. <laughs> Friday afternoon. My mom is like, okay, we all are eating together. So some come close to us, right? Yeah. Like fruit. So I'm yeah. like, okay, fine, I can do that. And man, instantly, I do not feel as alive as I would if I were to have a mango or the cantaloupes that I'm having right now, the papayas, the watermelons, and yeah. plethora of choices. Like people are like, man, such a restrictive food, disordered eating and all that. I'm like, man. The Disorder. amount of food, the amount of fruits, and like the the colors, shapes, sizes, forms, tastes, taste like it's yeah. incredible. The amount of, um, you know, I'm 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 exposed to so not at all restrictive. <laughs> yeah, it's really not. People that like this. Yeah. Uh, my best friend actually said, "You're you're not healthy. You're unhealthy." I'm like, because I'm eating fruit, I'm unhealthy. <laughs> How does that make any sense to you? Like, and, and yeah. the biggest, the biggest issue when I was over 350, none of my friends or family was like, oh, you're killing yourself. Stop. Oh, man. Nobody yeah. ever said that. And now that I'm the healthiest I've ever been, it's you're killing yourself. You're so unhealthy. No, I'm it's doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. But, but also, man, I like all the, you know, all the compassion to them because there's always the outsiders and the insiders, right? And um, if at least where I am, at least just in the neighborhood of mine, my t body type is rare. <laughs> I must say it's rare because people are overweight or out of shape and obese yeah. and fat, right? So like I am an outsider to them. So everybody here thinks I'm unhealthy. But me, in my mind, I don't want to point them out ever. But to me, all of them are unhealthy. Yeah. Clearly, because man, I can I can outrun all of them at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Like it's yeah. incredible. Um, and uh, yeah, there are so many other things that I might be able to do over them, but yet I'm an outsider to them, so I can understand why they might have just said that you are unhealthy right now because yeah. you are clearly an outsider to them. Yeah, it, it, and there's another thing you can outrun them. I couldn't tell you one time I ran when I was that big. I'm running all the time now. So I, I, I remember being that big and be like, well, I, I'll never need to run again in my life. Like, why would I need to run? <laughs> and now I'm running all the time because I want to, because yeah. I have energy. We went, uh, I went to Sedona a few weeks ago where my, my, uh, my buddy lives and mm -hmm. 
we were on the um uh and i can't remember the name of the mountain but i'm literally running up and down the mountain like just running up and down the mountain because i had so much energy it's one of right. those mountains wow. that had like a vortex dude before when we were hiking and i was 350 we used to hike in san diego together and i would be like slowly slowly going up the mountain like not running at all not once and yeah. then we're going to sedona i'm running up and down the mountain but i'm unhealthy nice. now come on guys <laughs> if you're watching this you know me come on yeah. how does that make any sense man i can see the happiness and the contentment and the fulfillment in your eyes while you say that because yeah it's like it's like this kid just unleashed you know dude it's incredible perfect way to put it it's it's crazy it, it really mm -hmm. is man it's eat fruit like yeah man Absolutely. if i could tell if i could tell someone just get off the meat and eat some fruit yeah yeah make the sm small small slow transitions that's totally fine i think yep. um a large chunk of the population might not be able to make a shift overnight and that's totally all right yeah i think nobody can nobody should as well right yeah. but just being able to create a little distance like this is the analogy i like if you're able to once you go within right and this is something that you've been able to do man is once you go within you're able to create a distance from food from yourself and you're able to see what's right and wrong right like for the longest time we thought earth was flat and i you know you're a conspiracy theorist i don't know what your take is on this it's but... flat <laughs> but uh, at least a large part of the population was convinced that it is around only when we were able to make a little distance and we went on the surface of the moon and you were able to know you know exactly what <laughs> that it's around um so at least in this analogy, what I tell people is that if you're able to create a little distance from yourself and your food, you're able to know what's right and wrong and you're fully aware and conscious. Yep. Right? What's yep. right and wrong food. And Absolutely. then you can make changes. Yeah. Uh, once you go within and find out more about yourself, the answers, like if you question something during the day, the answer that you're looking for will come to you like that. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. I don't, I don't even, when I'm going to do something, I don't think, should I do that or not? The first answer that pops in my head is what I do, no matter what, because it's always going to be the correct answer. Yeah. Yeah. You need to trust and, yourself. Yeah. I was just coming to that. And you also have the ability to trust yourself, right? So when you trust and you just go for it, that's it. Option one, trust and go for it is just yep. incredible. And you know, what's crazy, Joe, like the way you're running up and down the hill, Right the way you are meditating and just being alive is actually our natural self. We are built to be this way. I know. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like when you, when you feed your body with something that's totally alive and natural and that becomes each and every cell of your body, then you're able to be fully that natural being, the golden child of God, which yep. you actually are. You get that privilege again, that key, to be that golden child of God again, um, yes. only when you put the right things in your body, isn't it? Absolutely, one hundred percent. It's yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah. not crazy. It's the opposite of crazy. It's it's <laughs> should be normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the truth. Let's put it that way. Yeah, a lot of people say they when I talk to them about meditation, they say they can't meditate. They've tried. They they can't do it. When I started meditating, I could only do it for two minutes. And then the two after two minutes, I'm like, all right, I need to get up. I can't. Why, what am I doing? I got to go check my phone, see if someone's text me. And like, I, I was literally like, I cannot meditate for more than two minutes. Now I'm doing it. It's easy. I want to meditate. I need to make more time to meditate. So wow, uh, you can do it. If I, if I could do it, you can do it. If I could go from 350 to um, 160 now, wow, you can do it. Like anybody can do it. Like I, I was obsessed with movies, depressed all the time, obsessed with the Raiders. It's a football team. And now I, I cut off all the things that don't matter. And I'm trying to focus on all the things that do matter. And, and that's, if I could do it, anybody could do it for real. Yeah. 100%. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah 100%. And uh, instead of being a consumer, now you're a creator, you're just creating things and you're yes. becoming, you have completely transitioned and, 
and you go to a higher plane of consciousness. Yes. 100%. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. It's, and go ahead. Uh, just I went from a, a a horrible life to a fantastic life, and it's yeah, it's really it's I, I attribute a huge part of that to just eating living food which is true yeah. yeah 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 and why do you think food plays that big of a major role to a higher consciousness or you know a good life what do you um think? man that's a good question i think uh because food is such a huge part of our our world you know like it's mm. everything is about food everything yeah. literally you you better eat three times a day which i think is ridiculous um, better have a big breakfast, which is the opposite of what's good for you. Um, man, I don't know. It's, it's, I feel like most things we're told are, are the opposite. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. um, um, that's a good question. What do you think? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. When, uh, so one thing, one thing I know for a fact is that what we call our body right? What you call your body, what I call my body is a collection of food. Like when I was this tiny to what I'm right now is the only, the only reason is because of the intelligence. There's something right here that can turn a bread or a mango to a human brain or hair or nails or fingers, right? Yeah. So like, if you're looking for source of creation, it's already right here. Like turning a bread into a human body is right here yeah. in you right? Um, it becomes each and every cell in your body. It's insane. And if you were to give yourself the right food that's natural to you, that can easily become you, then I think it's just easier for you to be you. Yeah. 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 No, that, that's, yeah. <laughs> I saw a picture the other day of, uh, it, it had two bodies. One of them was like full, like cheeseburgers and French fries, stuff like that, making up like the actual like form of the body. And the other one had like fruits and all this other stuff. One was gigantic, obese, dark. And the other yeah. one was like bright green and like fit. Yeah. And it's, it's so true. So yeah, true. man. Absolutely. And I, I, I also believe that. Um, so as easy of a software is, easier for us to digest and be part of us, right? So if you compare a mango and a slice of meat, mango is already a very easy um, piece of software. Like it's already you for the most part, like this body is 60, 70% water, right? Yep. It also is planet earth, by the way, guys. Um, and also is mango as compared to, you know, salt or bread, which is completely deprived of water. So yeah. you are putting something that's, a complete opposite of you inside of your body that's not this is alive bread is not alive so what yeah. happens you become less alive right this yep. is literally what i used to be after consuming a heavy meal or even a light meal of cooked food i am like this right yeah. but man after like a watermelon or an alive mango like this man let's yeah. go let's do <laughs> things oh you know? like yeah let's get outside let's put our feet yeah, in the freaking dirt that's another thing people think I'm weird about. I'm always barefoot. Like I'll go hiking and stuff barefoot. People are like, you're nice. brave. I'm like, no, you got to stay connected to the earth. Yeah. 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 The more further, <laughs> the more further away you go, the, 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 the higher you damage your, your, your body. So example is people who wear heels. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 The further away you go, the more damaged you will be. <laughs> yeah. Dude. It... Man. Yeah, I, I just incredible. I wish everybody would just open their eyes and just want to learn more. I think that's the, the biggest issue is, um, like I said, comfort. People don't mm -hmm. want to learn more because they don't want to change their lives. They're yeah. comfortable in their um, the way they're living, even though most people I'll, I'll say this confidently. Most people don't like their current situation. They There's always someone complaining. There's always mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? But yeah. like, once you step back, the only person you have to blame is yourself. Like, like I do a conspiracy show where I tell you all the stuff the government's doing. And obviously I'm putting blame on the government for the stuff they're doing. But like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I have free will. I make my own choices. 
I can change my life whenever I want, no matter what anybody else is doing on my outer physical, they yeah. can't change how I'm feeling inside because I control that. If you don't let something bother you, then, then it's not going to bother you. So yeah. I feel like anybody can go like, like I, I, I think I, I think there's a quote somewhere, but I'm going to steal it and pretend like I made it up. Um, if you could be comfortable with being uncomfortable, you will be completely limitless. Mm. And that's the thing. Stop yeah. eating the bad foods. It might be uncomfortable to eat fruit at the beginning, but yeah. you'll start loving it because honestly, what's more delicious than, you know, an apple, like, come yeah. on. Like it's, I yeah. I mean, there's Absolutely. other fruits that are probably more delicious than an apple, but uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. That's why that's why uh, you see all these processed foods that say like uh, they're always fruit flavor, like strawberry flavored or you know what I mean? Um, they're not actually using mm. any of the strawberry in that. They're yeah. just telling you this is the flavor of it because strawberry is delicious. So just go eat the extra strawberry and put down the fruit roll up. Yeah. Go straight to the source rather than. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And man, um, in between, I remember you saying that eating three times a day is insane. I'm curious why. Um, I, I meant eating three meals a day. Uh, you have to eat three meals a day in the morning, mm. and at lunch, and at dinner. That's what I meant. Um, right. I, I, I eat. I eat more than three times a day. I'm not saying. I'm saying their their structure is, eat a big breakfast, so yeah. you're sluggish the rest of the day, and then yeah. eat a big lunch, and then have a heavy dinner. It's just eat when your body tells you to eat. Don't just structure. You have to eat breakfast. You have to eat lunch. You have to eat dinner and then eat 8 million snacks in between that are cookies, cakes, and pies. Um, yeah. So yeah, eat three times, a day. eat three times a day. If your body's telling you to eat three times a day, like I said, yeah. I, I, I eat between 12 and six. So I'm generally eating more than three times a day anyway, but yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you also, um, so I, I won't eat certain fruits together. You know what I mean? Like uh, if I'm eating melons, I only eat melons. I won't eat anything yeah. else. And then you got uh, acid fruits and sub acid fruits that you're not supposed to eat with yeah. sweet fruits and stuff like that because it messes up your digestion. Do you do that too? Yeah, a little bit. I'm I'm mostly going um with what my body is telling me, man. Um, yeah. You know, for sure, when I eat a melon, um, full of watermelon, my body tells me to eat nothing besides yeah. that like i don't feel like eating a banana or an apple yeah just now when i think of it instinctively my body is like that's not a good combo yeah <laughs> it really isn't yeah <laughs> it really yep. isn't so yep. and man i'm a big fan of mono meals like a huge fan so i usually mono meal for breakfasts and breakfast is usually like two hours when my body tells me that i'm hungry it's not like right after i wake up before because I was not on fruit and was craving for food, it was so easy for me to eat right after I wake up in like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. Um, but now I listen to my body. So it's mono mono meals. Um, mono meals for people who don't know is just eating one thing and that's it for the meal. So like okay. just a melon yeah. or just a papaya and that's it, right? For people who yep. don't know. Um, and then usually lunchtime, man, is something that is deep inside of our culture as well. And also something that I cherish is that lunchtime, at least now, it's like the entire family sitting together and having food, right? Um, well, they respect me with what I eat. So that's great. Yeah. But the point is to be with them, to be with yeah. the family, right? Yeah. Um, that's the major point of it. So that's usually when I might mono meal sometimes or might have like um three to four sometimes even five different fruits okay right that's when i get my yeah. avocados done bananas done um the figs are in season right now and they're absolutely delicious <laughs> um the cactus fruit is uh, always growing here because we don't have we have abundance of cactuses um yeah <laughs> here so things like that man um and then again, if I feel like having anything for dinner, I would again mono meal. There's no way that I want to put more than two ingredients because, uh, man, I'm sure we can talk about sleep. My sleep oh. is the best. I have I have never sleep, truly sleep like a baby, but do not sleep that long also, yeah. which is crazy. You want to talk a bit about sleep, man? Dude, I, I used to wake up 
three, four times a night. And now I don't, I wake up when I, quite literally. When I yeah. Quite literally. <clears throat> I've noticed another thing. I've been waking up, excuse me. <clears throat> I've been waking up, like I'll set an alarm and I'll wake up right before my alarm. Like, I don't know if that has anything wow. to do with it, but like when I have an intention to wake up at a, a certain time, my body wakes me up at that time. It's crazy. But yeah, I, I sleep amazing now and it never used to be like that. Yeah. Never. Yeah. And and are you sleeping a bit less than you um, Yeah. I mean, what happened to you? Um, I mean, occasionally I'll wake up. So I'll wake up at like three in the morning, meditate, and then I'll just stay awake when I intended to get up at five. Um, mm. so I guess, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> generally, generally when I go to sleep, I, I don't wake up until I'm like in, intending to get up. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm not, I'm never, so like if I like, I, sometimes on weekends I'll be editing a video and I'll, I'll realize it's like past midnight. Um, and I'll go to sleep and I'll still wake up early and be perfectly fine mm. and not sluggish or drained or anything like that. So, um, I can yeah. sleep shorter and, and not really affect me. If I feel like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man, for me, um, I'm definitely sleeping a lot lesser, but not too less. Like before I needed eight and a half to nine hours for, you know, my physical activity and my lifestyle, but now I'm I'm 100% all right with seven to seven and a half. So that's like a good reduction. And even if, man, one hour reduction, multiply that with, I don't even know, in a month, every night, that's yeah. like a lot of time gained for, yeah. for life. You know? It really is. Yeah. And so, I, hear th I hear this from people who aren't even fruit fruitarians. Like uh, when they get up earlier, in the day and get stuff done they feel so much more productive and they feel oh, yeah. better absolutely because you're not wasting away and buried in your pillow like you're actually up and doing stuff you're living yeah yeah and i don't need an alarm just like you man like what you said i do not need an alarm at all uh, actually uh my body was actually my body spoke to me and my body told me that let's not have any devices close by in the entire room so i'm following that and i'm my sleep has gotten even better i don't know the technology behind people say there are some rays this and that happening this and that i EMFs. don't know <laughs> <laughs> i have yeah. an emf protector on all my devices but i i don't i don't sleep next to my devices either um and i turn my wi-fi off at night beautiful I'll plug it yeah that's awesome man uh, another thing that has happened to me man is um I used to have a lot of oily skin, right? Anytime I run my hand right here um, or my fingers right here, I used to have a lot of oil. Now I don't. And it makes yeah. so much sense because I don't eat oil. Like I don't, I don't have to cook anything in oil. Like I, there's no oil consumption. So yeah. obviously the body wouldn't produce any oil, right? <laughs> yeah. I just, I never even realized that. And my, my nose used to be constantly oily. I don't have any oil. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Incredible. I just noticed that yeah. for the first time. I that. <laughs> and also, uh, if you stop eating certain seed oils, you won't get a sunburn too. Hmm. Because this, the sun isn't burning your skin. The sun is reacting to the oils in your skin, which the oils are giving you a sunburn. Wow. So like, yeah, there's certain seed oils to stay away from. So peanut That's seed, cotton seed, corn oil, canola oil. Yeah, these kind of oils. Interesting. Nice. I'm glad yeah. you brought that up for people to know. Man, it looks like you you do know like you're 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 researching quite a bit and like you're you're aware of the science behind. Is there something that you could share around the science as to why maybe first of all, bro, like do you believe that fruit might just be a natural diet for like human beings? Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. 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 Uh it's there for you to pick off the tree or pick up off the ground or uh fruit's the easiest thing to cultivate it really is like vegetables or you have to chop off the plant do whatever mm. you need to do with it for animals for animals you have to chase down an animal <laughs> catch it and then supposed to, like back in the day when we were you know imagine you just started eating you have to yeah. chase down an animal 
<laughs> grab it, bite into its muscle, rip its flesh from the bone, and then wow. not get violently sick from eating the raw meat. Humans can't do any of that. I could chase down yeah. an animal. You can't chase down shit. Like, what do you, what do you, you, know, like, you can't, you can't, you yeah. can't do that. So like people thinking we're, our ancestors were naturally around to eat meat. No, they weren't. You can't even, maybe if you made a bow and arrow, that's how you could catch it. But again, you still can't bite into the muscle, rip it from the bone with your teeth. You have yeah. like square teeth. You don't have sharp canine teeth. You have two canines that aren't nearly as sharp as they need to be. So absolutely. They're, they're yeah. there for eating meat. We're not herbivores, we're frugivores. Yeah, yeah, 100%, man, you're right. And and the thing the thing where I, I believe people might just get confused in some place where I also got confused is that we have this beautiful intelligence and intellectual thinking properties to think that we might just be there. So here's the thing, we have this intelligence to build tools, right? So yeah. um, if... so. If, if let's say, let's put it this way, because we are able to build tools to hunt doesn't mean that we are, we have been given by nature to hunt. So to give you an example, yeah. the only way we can unscrew a screw is by having a tool, right? Yeah. There is no way we can unscrew it with our hands. Yeah. But we are still able to unscrew it with a tool doesn't mean that we are instinctive unscrewers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah right so the sure. only way we are able to hunt down an animal is with a tool doesn't mean we are hunters we yeah. can build a tool that's 100 percent. the beauty of being a human is building a tool creation but doesn't mean that yeah it doesn't mean that we can hunt and be able to consume just because also we have this this two thing two teeth here yeah. um Van can i you can see it in all these vampire movies. What do they need to do? They need to whatever the hell they do and like knock their teeth down to be sharp in order to suck blood. Means yeah. our canines aren't strong enough to to go through skin. I mean, I mean, people get bitten all the time and they break the skin, but like you know what I mean. Yeah, That's exactly what you're saying. They're not. Our canines aren't made for that. Our canines are made for, you know, biting into an apple. Apple. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Is there more, any other signs that you, um, why do you think we might just be frugivores, let's say? Um, it's just natural. Like I said, it, it, they're easy, it, fruit's easy to pick. Like it's, it's right there for you. The plant is literally saying, come get this. It's all bright colors. And like, you yeah. know, come look at me, look at me, come, come take this. Up. Like if you see a mango, like it's, you know, like, yeah, it's inviting. Whereas yeah. I feel like none of the other foods are inviting, naturally inviting, you know, Absolutely. they have to add all these, all these spices and stuff to other foods and to make it, make it taste good. Like if you have to cook your food or add flavor to it, why are you eating it? Yeah. Like, yeah. why are you eating it? It doesn't make any sense. You and you're eating a fruit. Yeah. And you're making something that's simple, complicated, which is exactly. not what I think intelligence is. I think intelligence is to make something that's complicated, easily digestible, hence make it simple. Yeah. Yeah. Right? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And just, just, just finding fruit, plucking fruit and having it is like the simplest thing you could ever do, I believe. Yeah. No, yeah. You, there's no work to it. You just go up and grab it. Like I mean, there's work to like going and picking a bunch but if you're just going to eat you just pick one and eat it you know it's not it's not rocket science it's, yeah absolutely man <laughs> yeah 100 <laughs> percent, man i was so baffled um because uh just uh two weeks ago i was in india in the south of india um in like a jungle uh, 100 green and like so green so majestical so magical so beautiful and I bought these fruits that were growing locally over there. And it was so fantastic how easy it was to eat this. It was it was a variant of like a custard apple, not exactly a custard apple that we would know of, but like a custard apple of that area, which yeah. is slightly different from a custard apple that we might know of in other places. And it was so incredible to eat it. It was just like when it's totally ripe, when it's not ripe, you can't do anything with it, right? But when it's ripe... <laughs> All you can, all you have to do is put your thumb in and just open like that. 
and that's it. It's ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's ready to be consumed. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's 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 magnificent how much time it saves and how much how much simple your life becomes once you start approaching to not just food but with things like that. Like that's it. It's ready. It's yeah. ready. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh there's a fruit called Monst Monstros Delicioso. I've never had it, but it looks like a corn on the cob. It's like the shape of a corn on the cob and it has little hexagonal shapes that like uh that are that's the shell and they'll naturally fall off or they'll be able to they'll be ready to be picked off. And that's the only part of the fruit you can eat. So like mm. it ripens throughout a few days or whatever. And if wow. you eat anything that's not ripe and ready to eat, it's bad for you. It doesn't taste good. But the ones that are ready to for you to pick off and eat the fruit, I guess it's like the most delicious fruit. It's like a hundred dollars a thing. So I haven't had one yet. Um I, I thought about ordering them, but through the mail, if I, if I spent three hundred dollars on three pieces of fruit and they're they go bad before they get to me, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. But um <laughs> I'm going to a fruit festival in Miami at the end of January. Oh, cool. <clears throat> so I'm hoping they'll be there. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been to fruit festivals before? Not yet. That'll wow. be my first one. Woodstock nice. Fruit Festival in Miami. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it used, that's in, amazing. used to be in Woodstock, New York. That's why it's called Woodstock Fruit Festival. But they moved it to Miami and kept the name Woodstock. So right. they're making me travel <laughs> all the way down to Florida instead of just going a couple hours. But anyway. Yeah, so that should be fun. Hopefully, I'll find a bunch of people like-minded that, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, 100%, man. But I, I was curious, like, um, Joe, what are you doing with, um, how, how's your social life looking like around around your new identity now with fruit? Um, <clears throat> A lot of people, like I said, a lot of people think I'm unhealthy and stuff like that, but I still, I still hang out with my normal friends and stuff like that. Uh, I just, I don't really go to dinners anymore. Mm. Um. The whole so I stopped watching movies and sports and all that. Well, sports is more recent, but movies since like the end of 2019, I stopped movies and stuff like that. So that part has already been removed, like socially. Can't really go to movies and stuff with people anymore. I'll go, you know, if people want me to go hang out with them, I'll go to a movie. Um, but I, I mean, it's the fruit thing really hasn't changed much. I just can't go out to eat with people. I've gone out to eat with my parents. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've gone out to eat with my parents and stuff like that. Um, and they're fine with me not eating. They're they're cool with it. Um, I literally mm -hmm. just order my dog food and then I bring the dog's food home to him and he just, he eats my meal basically. <laughs> um, yeah. But it hasn't really changed other than I can't go out to eat with people. I can't go out to bars and drink with people. But you can yeah. still go play pool. You can still you know, go play darts with them. And so, yeah, you I mean, I don't even, it, it's crazy because uh, I don't even drink regular water anymore. It has to be mm -hmm. natural spring. So I go to a spring by my house. It's like 20 minutes away. Um, and I fill up these glass uh, gallon jugs with natural spring water. And that's the only water I drink. So mm -hmm. like, even when I'm out and people offer me a drink and stuff, I decline that. So I don't know, man, it's, it's really just the going out to eat aspect that has changed. But even then, like yeah. I wasn't a big let's go out to eat type of person. So, you know, yeah, yeah. socially, yeah. I'm good. I'm good socially, I guess. It's perfect. Know, like yeah. I said, there you go. it's it's uh, it's worse for they feel awkward. I don't ever feel awkward about it. And I try to tell them, like, why do you feel awkward? I'm perfectly fine. But absolutely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, for sure, man. And. <laughs> absolutely and and like you're like you 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 also come to realize that the people that you want to be with are actually here for for your time not for a piece of you know food yeah uh, not just for food you know so you actually get to connect with them um in other ways and and listening to you like for some people they get massive anxiety around you know the social anxiety aspect aspect um yeah. but it's not that bad you know you can you could be perfectly be a fruitarian and still have the same friends and still thrive socially yeah, yeah. you just gotta you gotta make slight changes you know it's yeah 
it's not that difficult. It really isn't. People people think it's like going to be the hardest thing in the world, um, but it's it's not. It's really not. Yeah. yeah. Gotta... And also for some people who like attention, let me tell you this. You are going to get a lot of attention. You will be the interesting guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really will be. Like, yeah, that's the thing. People think I'm crazy for the stuff I do, but they um always. Anytime I'm around someone, I'm getting a million questions about everything. everything. Well, I'm the conspiracy guy too, so like they mm. ask me about other things too. But um, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I'm the conspiracy guy, but I don't believe anything unless I do my research, and that's why I became a fruitarian because I did my research and found out all the mm. bad stuff that they're putting in all our foods, all the good stuff about fruit. Like there's so many health benefits to fruit too. You know, dates help pregnant women and like women, women's periods be easier and better. And like wow. they help with like labor and dates, like ladies wow. eat dates. It's <laughs> there's so much information out there. Grape seeds help kill cancer cells. Like mm. grape seeds help cure cancer. There's a million things out there that, that fruit, Amazing. that fruit do. And nobody knows about it because I just listened to, you know, yeah. Dr. Smith at the medical center. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and do you, do you really think we are not being informed correctly because Dr. Smith or the whole system does not make money if they tell you go home, have fruits, drink water, sleep? I 100% believe that. Um, mm -hmm. I think all the doctors just go to the same school. They read out of the same Rockefeller yeah. textbooks and they don't know how to cure someone. They know how to treat someone and make the symptoms suppress, but they're yeah. not, they're not, they're not healing anybody. Like when they give you medicine, they're not, the medicine's not healing you. If you're sick and you take their medicine, they're not healing you. They're suppressing the symptoms to go back into your mm -hmm. body and lay dormant until they pop back up again. Um, if they actually knew what they were doing, then they would be actually healing you and removing the sickness and the, the mute. I don't know if you ever heard of him. His name's Dr. Sebi. No. So there's a, a, a guy named Dr. Sebi. He wasn't a real doctor. He wasn't an accredited med school doctor. He just prescribed fruits and herbs to people mm. and he cured cancer, AIDS, blindness, herpes, wow, paralysis. He's cured all these, all these diseases. And then the federal government sued him, said he was malpractice and he was uh, uh, misinformation. So he went mm. to court and the judge made him bring in one patient for each sickness that he claimed to have cured. So he had to bring in nine patients. He brought in 77 patients into court and he was acquitted. <laughs> so he proved that he cured all these diseases. Do wow. you hear about that? Have you ever heard about that? Do you hear about that in the news at all? Not at all. No, because the big pharma makes billions of dollars. So the Food and Drug Administration, they give you the bad food so they can give you the bad pills so then they can keep selling you the bad pills and keep you on the bad food. It's like a cycle. You know, they don't blame the food. They just blame hereditary or whatever was already in your body, which is nonsense. And... Yeah. They don't give you the real culprit of why you're sick and they don't mucus is the number one disease. Every single disease is because you have mucus in that part of your body. Mm. And like I said, if you're fasting day six or seven, you poop out all this stuff. It's literally just white gooey stuff. That's mucus that your, your body is removing from you. So, yeah. Right. So look, look into Dr. Sevi. I mean, you're going to have to go in through like back channels because if you Google him, it's probably going to be some nonsense about how he was killing people and blah, blah, blah. But uh, legitimately, he, he beat a, a federal court case. Wow. And we never he was carrying disease. Yeah. Never. And we never hear about him. Wow. Never. Never. Uh, yeah. There's a rapper named um, Nipsey Hussle. He recently died. And he was doing a documentary on Dr. Sevi and before he could finish the documentary, he got killed. So, wow. and he was a huge rapper. So if he would have came out with a documentary like that, a lot of people would have known about it. And 
they would have messed up the billion dollar pharmaceutical farmers, farmers business. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're going wow, down into conspiracies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, man. And I think I think it's it's all right because people need to know, people need to be more informed because clearly what are what, you know, people whatever whatever is informing people right now is clearly not working because we have the most unhealthy people that we have ever had. Yep. Right? And the most yeah. info access ever. Yes. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely Oh, yeah, that's a great Great thing that you just said. Yeah, great point. <laughs> there is no, yeah. there is no scarcity in the amount of information we have right now. Yet, we have the most unhealthy people. Um, it's it's yeah. crazy, and and the pharmaceutical industry is apparently in America is the number two or number three. I'm not I'm not fully aware. Well, How big sure. is it? It's <laughs> huge. I know that. But I, yeah. so I, I'm under the uh, assumption that all countries, all the countries' governments. They're not at war. Yeah. They don't hate each other. They're all run by the same group of people. When we have wars, they're funded by the same group. And then they decide who wins. They just want us volunteering for the military and go get killed. Like, I, I think they're all they're all connected. All the pharmaceutical companies in each country are connected They're, I think it's all run by the same the same groups. But, you know, right. that's another conspiracy. Yeah. But it, it there's a lot of evidence to it. So, mm. wow. Yeah, man, that's 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 wild to know, right? But man, um, there's there. So you know, you have shed a lot of weight on fruit, and I'm curious to know because a lot of people happen to not stay consistent with the diet or leave midway, thinking that they're getting too skinny. Right? What's yeah. your take on that? Uh, for one, I don't think it's a diet. I think it's a lifestyle. You have to yeah, you yeah. have to go into it with the with the mindset that. I'm never going back to this processed food or these animals. <clears throat> um, and the skinny thing is you're, for one, you need to actually work on your body. Like, don't just let yourself get super, super skinny and like work out, you know, treat your body yeah. like a temple that it is. And I, I don't get the whole skin. I, I got skinny, but I, I'm working out. You know what I mean? It, it's, just don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't get that reason to stop it. You know what I mean? If you feel, if your body is telling you you're healthy and you, you, you actually feel good, why are you going to let what your body looks like stop you from feeling good? Clearly there's nothing wrong with you. If you're feeling good, your body will tell you if there's something wrong with yeah. you, you know, um, body, my body always tells if there's something wrong with me, my body lets me know. And I yeah. move forward accordingly. So like if you're getting skinny because of fruit, that's your body's getting rid of all the bad toxins and mucus and all the bad stuff in your body. Yeah. Work on making your, your body. If you, if you're worried about what your body looks like, work out, you know what I mean? Like put some, yeah. put some muscle on your bones, you know, yeah. I, I don't Absolutely. get that reason. It doesn't. And, and I hate the word diet, like diet is a fad, you know? Mm. <laughs> You gotta have a light, you gotta make a lifestyle change. Yeah. Yeah. Like absolutely. I said, I got super, I got super skinny. I remember going into work. I was on my four, I was trying to do a 40 day fast. I was on like the 13th or 14th day of my fast. And my boss is like, look at your arms. Cause they were super skinny. And I'm like, mm. wow, he's right. And I started working out and my arms aren't super skinny anymore. You know what I mean? You just take care of your body. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And you were able to move from a super skinny arm to not a super skinny arm anymore no, I, um, without any supplements, no protein, nothing, right? No, no protein. I think proteins are the biggest scam. Like your body, <laughs> your body creates, yeah. your body creates protein. Your why are you going to eat a dead animal's protein? It's not living protein. It, you Protein is just so the meat industry can say, Honestly, that's the first response I get from everybody when mm. I tell them I'm all I'm all fruit. What about yeah. what do you what about protein? You protein. don't need protein. That's that's a bunch of BS. So the meat industry can make their billions of dollars off of you. Um, so uh, protein is just that's that's the most ridiculous thing I get. But yeah. I don't I don't think you need protein. Your body creates protein, and I don't honestly I think this is this is a wild opinion, but I think our bodies are literally capable of doing anything we need. 
So when you're fasting and your cells break in half, they're creating hydrogen. What do you breathe in? Oxygen. What's hydrogen to oxygen? Water. Our body creates water. So I don't even think we need to drink. I think we're just, we're addicted to consumption. So obviously I'm just not going to eat or drink because I love fruit and, you know, yeah, <laughs> but I do a lot, I do a lot of fasting because there's a lot of evidence to, to how healthy it is for you. But, um, mm. I don't think we need, there, there's a guy that was stuck on a raft apparently, and he drank his urine, um, and didn't eat anything. And when they found him, they said, he said, he feels really good. He feels healthy. <laughs> and in the papers, they, in the papers, they said he was catching rainwater and he was catching fish. He's in a raft in the middle of the ocean. How is he catching fish every day? Like they just make up stories. Like it's right. Yeah. They make up stories to feed us. So then we believe their nonsense. Yeah. 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 I think, I think people, um, one thing that I can highly suggest for people that has, that clearly seems to be working for, for Joe and me is that we are just li listening to you, Joe. I, I can see how in tuned and centered and aligned you are feeling right now and how much you trust yourself and how much keen awareness you have towards this piece of technology that was given to you. Yeah. That's right. Good <laughs> so like when, when people can actually pay attention, be patient with it, trust their decisions and pay attention to just observe, observe this body, pay attention to your body. You will see that it is, a magnificent piece of intelligence that can do exactly what you want, yep. what you and and you will reap the rewards in the most organic ways. Yep. Listen to this. Don't listen to this. Another person yapping in your ear about what you're doing wrong when they don't know what they're talking about. Listen to your heart. Listen to your conscious mind. Don't yeah. uh, or your subconscious mind. Don't don't listen to other people's yap because. I think that's the biggest issue with with most people is they listen to the people around them instead of listening to themselves. People need to listen to what they're they're telling yeah. themselves and not what Joe Blow is telling them. So yeah, yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent, man. And and I think that can come more and more in people when people can sit by themselves just for five minutes a day, right? Just be at absolute ease. And just sit with yourself in your company, um, with your company, yep. and just just be, just yep. be. Do nothing. Don't have the idiot box on. Sorry, the TV. Don't have the TV on. Don't have music running. Yeah. Just be by yourself. Live with yourself. Find out more about yourself. Yeah, I'm with that. I agree. Absolutely, absolutely. Definitely. Wow, that's fantastic, man. Man, Joe. Um, this was incredible. Like, I am so glad that I was able to reach out to you, man. And I'm so glad that you actually showed up to inspire people yeah. to be here, man. And like, yeah. bring your thought process and bring that aliveness in you. Like, for people who might just see this as a podcast, like, man, I, I, I'm a bit sad that you have a podcast because people can't really see you then because you are vibrating right now, bro. Like, I can yeah. see you like thriving and I can yeah, see dude. the in you, you know? I'm happy. I really am. I can actually say I'm I happy. I can see so that. I appreciate I you having me on. And of course, I'm going to show up. I, I don't know why anybody would say they're going to show up and then not. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not down with that. But, <laughs> yeah. 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 So for everybody who will be, you know, seeing you, they can see the life in you and like how happy you are. Like, just, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. like genuine with this, man. Like, when you're just smiling, when you're showing yourself, like, you're showing happiness, you're exuberating happiness in you. So yeah, thank you so much, man. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Can I plug my podcast? 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Where can people find you, bro? <laughs> uh, so if, you, uh, if you're if you into conspiracies and stuff like that, you want to know more, like we did a food episode. We did, we, nice. we do a bunch of health episodes, stuff like that. Um, Godspeed podcast on YouTube. Perfect. Godspeed I'll... podcast. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll leave I'll leave the link in the description definitely. I'll also leave the link of your Facebook profile. Are you any active on Instagram or other sources? Uh, yeah, so I actually was off social media for from for three years, and then I got the podcast. I'm like, well, how am I going to promote the podcast if I don't have any social media? So um, I'm on Instagram. Uh, you need Joe Mead. 
at you need Joe Mead. And then uh, I have a TikTok, cool. God's Great. Key Podcast. So, yeah. 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 Guys, you should definitely check out Joe. Like, he's so interesting. And um, <laughs> I'm true. definitely, man, I'm, I'm definitely going to have you again. Like, okay. Yeah. Sure. I'm, I'm down. Let me know when. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, man. I greatly appreciate you, Joe. And man, I am so humbled, so happy to see the transformation that you have had with the mother nature cooked food, which is fruits, right? Um, yes, because I love my mom's food, man, but it's not mother nature, right? No. Um, so <laughs> mother nature. Mangoes are cooked by mother nature and I come from mother nature. I came from the very soil that mango comes from for a watermelon comes from so i feel so much more alive so much more in tune so yeah thank you so much thank you so much thank Joe. you for having me i appreciate it absolutely let me know when you want me on again yeah for sure man right. for sure yeah have a good night have a good rest of the day bro you too thank you thank you thank you guys i want to go ahead and thank you so much for watching this video i hope you got value out of this make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel only if you wish to however i would greatly appreciate if you were to going to help me reach out to so many more people with this conscious thought process on a conscious planet overall. And guys, I'll see you in the next one.